you want to see something gross? Besides me trying to smoke a cigarette on YouTube, how classy. I've been, I was born with something, and <laughs> I think this is so funny that I'm putting this on here. But it, there's a point to all this. I'm going to get rid of my birthmark. It's what I'm going to do. I was born with it all my life, and everything. Where in the hell is your birthmark? And for all those who've been following me, you've probably never seen it. If you, uh, and whoever watches this video, that's typed birthmark removal or whatever I'm gonna, whatever I'm going to title this video. I'm still going to give you all the information that would be interesting that you probably wouldn't find online. If you do, it's going to take you 20 minutes to get right to the point to what answer you wanted. I'm going to do my best to answer all these questions if I ever do get comments as the weeks and months go by with this video circulating or whatever. So, alright, here goes nothing. But you're going to notice in my old videos, if subscribers of mine are watching this, I'm always at an angle because the birthmark, sadly enough, is right here. And, you know, I'm like, well, whatever, I'll just go ahead and just videotape like I'm sitting right now, or facing forward, whatever it is. It, that's how most people do it anyways when, when they're doing their little, you know, blogs and all that. So, yeah. Uh, I went to a dermatologist, and he saw my birthmark. And I'm going to show it to you because it's going to be gone completely anyway. And, you know, I uh, wouldn't mind watching this video in the future or months from now to see what it looked like you know, live on, on, on a video format, like YouTube or whatever, I could just pull out my phone and just record a video of it and me talking. I really am not going to miss it because if you saw it, you'd be like, hmm. So, yeah, you can call it a, a birthmark, a beauty mark or whatever, but there it is right there. And people are saying, well, you know, it's a beauty mark. Why are you going to get rid of it? You know, well, it could be the death mark for all I know. I take care of elderly people, and let me tell you, I, oh, cancerous, uh, exposed to the sun all those years. You know, I'm dealing with 85-year-old people, 90-year-old people, and I just don't want to get to that. I don't even want to think about it. And at this rate, it's bad enough I'm doing this. Uh, it's not like I do it that much, rarely. But anyway, let's get to the point. I went to the dermatologist. I'm private pay, so I was like, okay. I told the doctor, look, I'm going to blow all my fucking Christmas money on this. And I got a Christmas bonus check, and I, don't, I just don't care anymore. I don't like it, to be honest. And I've never been so open before to anybody. And so here I am doing this on, on the Internet. It's crazy. It's like I'm talking to myself. Kind of like a self-medication kind of a thing, but... Uh, I was dreading the bill. I was dreading. I asked. I said, you know what? How much is it? I just want to know right now. Please tell me. And he said it was going to be $800. So give or take, if you're wanting to know that answer, I want to. I want you to know it's probably going to be about 750 to 900 bucks, give or take. If you're private pay, this is, you know, you're not having any health insurance or whatever. My visit was 50 bucks. It could be 100 if you go to a dermatologist or up to 200 I don't know. They were offering a 20% discount if you were like a first-time patient or something. I was like, okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm at Walmart or something. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, he said he's going to cut it like into a triangle or a diamond. I don't remember what he was saying because the guy beside him was the assistant and he was clearly staring at me and kind of weird. I, I don't know, I'm not, parent, I'm not the paranoid kind of person, but, you know, I was like, what the hell are you looking at? He wasn't looking at my birthmark. He, I don't know, I was laying on my back. I can't believe I'm saying this. Oh, my God. Sorry. But it's the truth, damn it. And a diamond shape or something like that. He's going to go around the birthmark, and then he's going to, a diamond shape. Oh, I remember him saying, or a triangle. Uh... Then he's going to sew it up from in and out. I don't know what he meant by that. Then I'd have to come back like two weeks later, and he was going to take the stitches out. So it's going to have stitches. Then he said that the scar is going to be about an inch long, almost an inch long, 
and he said within six to eight months or four to six months or it was four or six or six or eight the, the scar was just going to diminish to where you could barely notice it I said well I really don't care what it looks like so mine's probably the size of a dime so that's the size the bigger the more money so if yours is less the size of a dime it's on your face and it's like this then it, that you're looking at that price range about 800 bucks to estimate is it worth it to get rid of all my Christmas bonus money I could really use a tablet you know new shoes these shoes I have down here have had it they're gonna fall off any second I already know it and it's gonna happen when I'm at work I don't care it's something that you're gonna look at every day and go you know what it was worth eight hundred dollars it was worth I don't know if it's gonna hurt or not but let's see it does hurt it's it's worth the pain I can handle pain I broke my toe kicking someone's ass before I'm pretty sure I can I can handle this so uh, I went today which is December 13 2012 and they're gonna give me a call tomorrow let me know when surgery is it's just an in and out surgery nothing special I'm real stupid because, you know, I told the supervisor, I was like, you know, I'll just get that done and come back and go to work. It's a 49-mile drive from here. It's another city that I have to go to. And I'm that ignorant not to miss work. I just don't, I can't afford it. I don't want to use my sick hours. I don't want to use my personal time. It's just going to be, it's an hour to drive there, an hour back. The, the operation or surgery or whatever the crap they're going to do to dig in my face is going to last no more than 30 minutes. Pay the money up. And that's that. I work a 12-hour shift anyway, so I'll have time. And if I do have to sell some personal time, it's only going to be about four or five hours. I'm not going to take off a whole 12-hour shift, come back feeling fine, and just sitting there rolling my fingers, thinking, okay, okay, um, should be at work. <laughs> so I'm not a lazy type of person. Even though my, my room is all messy right now, I really don't care right now, but I'll take care of that tomorrow. So I'm going to have a little update on this once this gets done. So I can't believe I just revealed something like that and other things I've said. Yikes. Just, uh, I'll show some video. Maybe they'll let me record. I doubt they will. I don't know. I'll ask. be interesting to see that in high definition. Ooh. So I'll uh, document, uh, you know, two or three videos to see the healing process. There's a lot of people out there that Google that ask on Yahoo Answers, that uh, YouTube, you know, you type birthmark and then before you even finish typing the K, you'll see removal. People have been searching for this, so I'm making this video for those people. And if there's any other little catches, if, you know, more money is involved or uh, if the pain was horrible or whatever, then I'll, I'll just let it all out. I'll go into detail. If it has to be graphic, it's honest and brutal and truth, and that's the way how I am. Uh, he looked at it. He didn't take but two seconds to say the laser's not going to do that. So he said it would come back or something like that with this kind of birthmark. I was born with this, remember. So I don't know what the laser surgeries I've been seeing on, online, I don't know what those were. I guess they were just, I don't know if mole and birthmark are the different, if it's the same thing or a different thing. I really don't know. I don't care. I just want it cut, and I will post an update on what it looks like and what it felt before and after, that kind of thing. Talk to you later.